Hello. Uh, now, I have featured many books from Pyrene Press over the years on this blog, um, and as well as being the driving force behind that publisher, Maika Zierwogel is also an author in her own right. And this is her second novel, Clara's Daughter, which is published by Salt. Um, interestingly, it's kind of connected to the most recent novel from Pyrene that I reviewed. Um, that novel featured uh, a mother-daughter relationship at its heart, and Clara's daughter, as you may guess from the title, also has the, the same relationship set up. Clara's daughter is Michelle, and she lives in North London with her husband, and this book uh, focuses very much on the time in their lives where Clara's health means that she can't continue to live in a house on her own, and uh, her daughter has to look at the question which a lot of uh, couples have to look at now, which is how best to look after her mother, whether that is in a residential home or by moving her into her, her own home. This conflict um, causes something of a, of a rupture in her marriage. Um, and if I sound like I'm detailing a, quite a lot of plot, uh, it is amazing that all of this is contained within less than 120 pages. Um, just like Pyrene's books, actually, this is a very, very concentrated novel, almost a novella. And it's amazing how much um, Zivogel is actually able to concentrate into the book. And she does it by having multiple narrators and using a third person narration as well. The way that the book moves around its viewpoint is, is quite unsettling actually, um, but it means that you do get lots of different points of view uh, and the narration also moves sort of backwards and forwards in time as well. And so what we have is quite an unsettling read and a very incisive look at the psychology between these different characters and the sort of psychological power plays that go between them. Um, and it's sort of it's it's heartbreaking in a way that these are people who are slightly fractured in their relationships and so not entirely clear about the thoughts in other characters' heads, but also what is actually going on, and so a lot of misunderstanding along the way, um, and something very, very moving about what happens to those relationships towards the, the novel's conclusion. Um, so, as I say, lots to discuss there and lots to get from such a small, slim and... Uh, concentrated book and that's why it's very similar to those Pyrene titles that I've mentioned before uh, very much like watching a film and that's how those novels have been sort of marketed as, as literary cinema and this this novel feels very similar in that regard so hats off for, for creating so much thought in my head whilst reading um, and I feel as though I should go back now and read her debut novel Magda which I believe is also available from Salt so there we go that is Clara's Daughter by Micah Zierwogel um, I shall be looking next at I'm not quite sure there's so many things and so little time but I'll get back to you soon <laughs> take care